the uh, uh, stuff that I'm going to show is is basically um, cutting into this this really you know kind of painful. Um, I call it the $10,000 pill that you have to get a customer to swallow before you can, you know, really engage them on SEO at all. Um, and that kind of stands apart from any other, you know, digital discipline or, or advertising um, in general. You can kind of say, well, you know, let's get the ball rolling. Let's bring you on as a customer and we'll, you know, create some value in this first couple months. And then, you know, once we get to know each other, then, then we'll spend some time sitting down and doing some strategy. Well, with SEO or content planning, you really have to do all that stuff up front. There's really, you can't start doing anything until you have a baseline, until you, you know, until you know which articles to write. And how do you, how do you do that without doing upfront research? Now, you can maybe get away with a reduced set of research. You may not have to do 150 hours, maybe you'll get away with 20 hours, but in any case, what we're building is reports that do I don't know, half of that work for you. It really streamlines it so that you should be able to go from bringing on a client to execution um, with, with, really, with really minimal ramp up time. Um, now I'm gonna show you, uh, basically I'm gonna give everybody a really quick, like three slides on the you know, um, 500 foot or 50,000 foot view of what Spy Food Recon is. Um, let's see if I can make it work. There we go. So SEO, Spike and Recon are SEO reports that sell. We're, uh, these are reports designed from the ground up to make you, the SEO, or you, the agency, look like a million bucks to your customer. Um, currently, there's like this, this um, sort of really difficult problem that is, you know, showing customers, um, I'm getting an echo, it's kind of tricky. Um, showing customers uh, all the value and the opportunity that exists in SEO. And, and so what we do in the most beautiful and, um, and compelling way that we can is, is say, here's everything that we did for you last month. Here are uh, the keywords that we improved on. Here's the new pages that you now rank on that you did before. And then um, now that you're convinced that we've done, that we're like super awesome, here's all the great things that we can do, the low hanging fruit, that we can capture if you, you know, give us, if you, if you let us do more work for you. Um, and I think that's what the reports should do right now. I think that they're mostly, you know, month end reports are, are kind of a status report. Here's the, here's your current position on this keyword and you know, here's what it was last month. Um, and that doesn't really sell what you are doing. And I want these reports to sell. And that's what, that's what the SpyFu uh, recon reports do. Um, they're 100% white labelable. Um, I'm not going to demo a white label for you because it's not ready yet, but they'll be white labelable so you can use them to, uh, nobody will ever know that they're, they're done by us, they'll be branded for your company. Um, the other thing that we have, uh, the other thing that these reports do is, is save you a ton of time. And I was talking earlier about this $10,000 pill that you have to get customers to swallow before you can really bring them on. And talking to, you know, agency heads, I found that, that people don't pitch SEO up front. They tend to pitch, you know, PPC, or they'll, you know, the, the you know, you want to rebrand your website, or you want to do some social, you know, full service digital agencies will pitch SEO almost as a last resort because it's the most difficult to sell. But of course, we all know that you know, content marketing is has has you know, is really the greatest value, right? It's eighty percent of all of the search traffic that there is, and. Frankly, it's it's a bargain. It's cheaper than any any other form of uh, any any other form of media. So uh, it's unfortunate that they can't pitch it because they have to say, well, we have to do all this upfront research, and nobody really wants to to do research uh, to do to pay somebody to do strategy for them. You know, the first month that they hire them, it's just a it's a painful thing to to try and sell. The other thing that we eliminate because SpyFu has been collecting you know organic data in the top 50 positions for the last four years is we eliminate baselining, right? Before you even talk to your client, you know, you go and you talk to, you know, buycostumes.com, which I'll demo in a second, you go and you, and you make your first sales meeting with them. Well, you're going to know every keyword that they rank on. They're, they're you know, 40,000 keywords that they rank on organically before you even talk to them. You don't have to get their business first. We already have that data going back, you know, uh, going back three years, right? So the other thing that, that we eliminate is 
the month end, the tedium of the month end Excel wrangling, where you use some form of semi-automated tools, semi-manual uh, process to to you know checklist uh, check ranking positions and then you know kind of copy and paste things and build your your charts and uh, and send these reports over to your customers. These are end to end reports that not only tell your customer the status, they highlight the value you've created and the opportunity that exists to sell you more business. All right. The other thing that we're doing with these reports is leveling the playing field. And uh, the disadvantage that SEO has, I mean, SEO has all this, uh, you know, content marketing has this great opportunity, right? And the, but the problem is, and the reason that the opportunity exists is because it's difficult to sell and it's difficult to quantify. And, uh, and, and, and when, you, when you're trying to sell these services, you're at a disadvantage from the, from the get-go because the main uh, you know, the main thing that you want to talk to, people tend to talk to their customers about right now is, well, wouldn't you like to be in the number one position on Google on X keyword? Well, yes, I'd like to be in the number one position, but, you know, I don't know how much I want to. Purely from my own vanity's sake, I definitely want to be in the number one position on cameras. But how much is that worth, right? Currently, I'm in the 19th position. I'd love to be in the first position, I guess, right? But what ends up happening is they get paid a discount. They get, a, they get paid a discount because we're talking about uh, an abstraction. We're talking about the positions, not the clicks, and certainly not the dollars. And what we're doing with, SEO, with, with Spifu Recon is, is moving the customer step-by-step step from thinking in terms of positions to clicks, then to dollars. It's not like we're like leaving out positions. We're gonna still show customers positions. And then we're going to show them clicks right next to it, and then we're going to show them dollars. And I'll show you that in a minute. The other thing that we're going to do is eliminate the tyranny of the algorithm. And, and SEOs are at this disadvantage. Let's say you, you, know, you want to go and talk, talk to a customer. You set up this sales meeting because you, you have this, uh, uh, this vision of what you can do for them. You think that you can bring you know, 100,000 new clicks to them, and you're about to make this presentation to them. You schedule it for your, 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 your monthly meeting or your quarterly meeting with them and, and at the same time you plan on showing them you know, your status, you know, your, your, your month end reports. And it turns out that the most important vanity keyword, or their most important keyword, I don't care, it doesn't have to be vanity, but like they drop from position 3 to position you know, 10 on, on digital camera, right? So you end up spending that entire uh, that entire sales meeting, though, that you're, you know, not the entire thing, but at least half of it, backtracking, trying to explain to them, well, you know, positions move around, positions move around. So just like Byron, we want to we want to talk to people in terms of in terms of these keyword silos, these keyword groups, right? Because if you can get customers to think in terms of groups of keywords, think in terms of wedding, think in terms of uh, Halloween costumes, as opposed to thinking in terms of um, you know, milk made costume, right? You want to you want to get them thinking in terms of these groups because you can consistently improve on these groups, but improving on a keyword over time is almost a roll of the dice, and it really messes with your ability to manage your your, your client relationship. So that's my last slide. Now I'm going to get into the nitty gritty, the good stuff, right?